point about this as well is this wasn't any old story. This was a story that was the most important story in The Guardian's history. It was vital that sure. every single element of it should be right. Let's get things in proportion here. Your newspaper had hacked a murdered girl's telephone. Oh, look, I'm not here to... I'm not, I don't believe that the news world was exonerated has been exonerated. What we did was indefensible, not just to Millie, but to all the victims of hacking. I'm not here to justify that in any way. What I'm here to do is attack the shoddy journalism of The Guardian and the shoddy journalism of Nick. He says it was accepted by everyone that, 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 that this happened. Read his original copy. There's no acceptance of it. There's a, there's a statement from News International at the end saying we're looking into this. News International at that time was a rabbit caught in headlights. They'd clearly been caught out misleading people with the, yeah. with the one rogue reporter theory, and they weren't going to make that mistake again. They weren't confirming anything but, to anyone. Fine. Do you accept the news of the world should have been closed down anyway? I'm not... Uh, there's a perfectly good argument that the news of the world should be closed down. I'm not here to defend the news of the world. I'm here to, to attack Nick's journalism. And it isn't just down okay. to this story. Let's, let's go a week later. Just a week later, after this sensational claim, he, he claims, in a front-page story again, that, Gordon, that the son hacked into Gordon Brown's medical records to reveal mm. his son's cystic fibrosis. It the Guardian clear. did apologise for that story. That right. story could have had yeah. exactly the same yeah, effect on this, the son this man, that, 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 that this man Millie had on the news of the world. revealed widespread criminality at your newspaper. Absolutely. And, uh, th and there's he a large should be applauded of the for that, There's large he? elements of the Guardian's investigation that, that is fantastic, but there's also really shoddy journalism by The Guardian, which is... And an the other media has treated a lot of... What, uh, pretty much what The Guardian has said as fact for the last five months. And it's only now that The Guardian's journalism is, is coming under proper scrutiny. Okay, can I Most come back on it this? was fact, wasn't it? A, a lot of it was fact, but there were okay. some, some significant... We smears and sig sig significant untruths. Okay. We've published more than a hundred stories revealing immoral criminal behaviour by the newspaper where you worked for 15 years. Now just look for example at the Gordon Brown story which you've just raised. Gordon Brown's wife Sarah gave birth to a child. The doctors said this child appears to have a very serious illness. We need to do more tests. During that period when they were waiting to confirm it, the son discovered this confidential medical information about this sick boy any decent newspaper would say, we can't publish this. But that newspaper chose to, and that put enormous stress on those parents. I've interviewed Gordon Brown on the record. He says that when The Sun decided to publish that information, he and Sarah Brown were in tears. So, subsequently, we published a story about it, and we did not say that The Sun had obtained that by hacking. You've just made that up. It's not there in the story. What I said was... Read the, the sun, apology that The Guardian the sun, Listen to... Let, let me finish. The Sun gained, a, gained access to confidential medical information. At one point in the story, I used a different term of words. I said, gained access to confidential medical records. And I couldn't prove that they got to the file. And this is the difference. The Guardian corrected and apologised that. When did the son apologise for doing that cruel and inhumane thing to those parents whose right. sick child now will grow up and discover all these horrible well, stories about I'm his not medical here condition? To the ethics of the but son. look, who's I'm guilty of shoddy journalism? The ethics of the son or the news of the world. I'm attacking the shoddy journalism of the okay. Guardian, and but there right. are lots the example of examples just... of it. No, I there aren't. To... There are two that you're coming up with. You've misrepresented what we said in the Gordon Brown story. It's a matter of wording which we corrected. <laughs> Where's a, the no on the Gordon Brown story? No, Jeremy, for it. But, words, but you've never apologised for doing the terrible words thing. Words matter. Yes, indeed. That's so, the so, whole point. Yes, so we said... Of course he, we've right. apologised for it. Sun... I've apologised for it on this show and every senior executive has right. apologised for it. Okay. Rupert okay. Murdoch said it was the right. most humble let's day of his life. But let's, why don't you have some this. humility then about this? I've got, I've got huge Instead humility. Of trying to... I'm not no. saying that what we're is exonerated happening here in any is way. It's a classic example of the way that tabloid newspapers work. You're on a heap of trouble because for years you personally have taken Murdoch's money like these other people and ruined people's lives and invested invaded people's privacy and engaged in criminal activity. You've hired private investigators in the past, haven't you? Private investigators who were breaking the law. Haven't you, Jules? I'm not, haven't you, Jules? I'm not here to talk do you about... Would you like a list of, of well, people who you... you... Want to, let's go through the list of the 100 um, observer journalists that, that made requests okay, to Steve But you tomorrow. personally hired a private investigator who was doing illegal things to get confidential data. I'm Isn't that true? I'm not here to talk about... The... Why, why, why won't you admit the truth? Isn't it time for some the... humility? No, Didn't no, you no, hire a private no, investigator let's, let's who was doing... The, let's talk you about personally... the names of all the, the observer. 
Guardian. Shabby journalists are doing it. You're ducking it, aren't right. you? The current Guardian. You accuse me of shabby journalism when your name is all over the records of Steve Whittemore, a private investigator who was convicted of using illegal means. Your name's there. Information about Jeremy Theakston, about, about um, uh, Anne Robinson, yes, about John Penrose, about Anna Freel. But, but you're right, admitting you've hired that investigator. Let's start naming some of the Guardian journalists. Oh, who's shoddy here?